I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Stardew Valley, a farm life simulation game also known as a Harvest Moon clone, basically. Uh, that's okay, though, because I liked Harvest Moon. It was one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. So, we'll start a new game. Not gonna spend too much time on the character customization, mostly because there are a lot of options, and I don't really care for a lot of them. I'm gonna change my shirt, however, as well as uh, hair color and eye color. Okay. So this is, of course, Gaz on the Happy Farm. My favorite thing is steak. Steak, not steam. Steak. Steak, of course, being a reference to a game I have not played yet, and I'm a dog person. So, uh, let's go. Now, this intro is actually very agonizingly slow, so I'm gonna skip through it. Basically, Grandpa is on his deathbed, leaves us his farm. We decide one day, while working at our crappy job in Joja Core, we don't like it, so we move out to the country. It's seriously like a five minute cutscene that's really unnecessary, and this is basically what the original Harvest Moon was like. You just show up in front of your farm, and your parents leave, and they'll be back in two years. That's all you need. No more exposition. Hello! You must be Gaz. I'm Robin, the local carp yeah, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I'm already having trouble reading things. That's not a good start. This is Happy Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Lucky me. In the original Harvest Moon, night was eternal, and you could clean up your entire farm in one night. That was a good exploit. After the first game, however, that mechanic no longer worked, and I doubt very much it works in this one. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Why were you in my house? What the heck were you doing in my house? So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. I'm not really sure that uh, the text exposition is necessary. Don't listen to her, Gaz. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied that, so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's a little creepy, Lewis. Well, good luck. So if I ever hear rustling in the night, it's either raccoons or Lewis. Alright, here we go. First day. Time is a-movin'. Uh, <clears throat> one of the cool things about this game that uh, the Harvest Moon games were missing is that you can actually move the furniture around in your house and uh, customize it and I can't put it back. Uh, what's in this package? Parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Okay. Put that away for now. I have a journal entry, two journal entries. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil, blah blah blah, and water it every day until it's ready to harvest. Okay. What was the other one? Introductions. It would be nice to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. There are 26 more people to meet. Well, before we go into town, I think I'm going to go ahead and plant these seeds that I just picked up. But first, I'm going to have to pack... There we go. 
gonna have to make a space for this by cutting down bushes and branches with my axe. And then, of course, I need to break up some stones here. I just picked up some mixed seeds. That'll be good. I think I can actually plant those to, uh, to fill in the spot that I'm going to leave here. Uh, this is not obviously as close as I actually want my farm or my crops to be to my house, but uh, for now, I think this will be okay. And that is actually not where I wanted to place that. There we go. Oh, there's actually a bush hidden in the... Uh, oops, that's actually not where I want that either. I don't know that there's a way to replace the dirt. In Harvest Moon, you could just put uh, like a fence there and it would fill it in. So I'll have to create fences. Which, by the way, there's a crafting system in this game. So that's kind of cool. And I guess we'll plant these mixed seeds and see what they bring. Let's water them. I figure we may as well get a start on the crops. It just puts us a day ahead, but the town also, uh, whoops, waste of water there, also runs on a schedule, and we got up at the crack of dawn, and no one else was up. So, over here, fill up our watering can, and here we go. Okay. I think we can probably just head off to town now. It's 9 o'clock. People should be awake. Um, no, I didn't want to water that. I wanted to read it. Bus stop in Pelican Town. So, up there, I guess, is where we came in. Can't do anything with those butterflies, unfortunately. So where am I going? I'm going to the mayor's manor. I guess we'll just uh, stop by places on the way. Hey, there's a the person. Stop! Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Okay. Um, <laughs> damn it. Put away the watering can. Uh, I don't know though. Of all my tools that I can have in my hand, the uh, the watering can is probably the least antisocial. Okay, let's not talk to this guy with the axe. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. That's a little creepy. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Okay. Exam room? What's in here? It's probably not a good idea to stick your hands in there. It's full of used syringes, dirty swabs, and little nozzles that Harvey stuck into people's ears. Okay. But what is this? It's a sample jar. Better not put your fingers in there. Okay. You really shouldn't just leave that lying around there, Harvey. What's up here? You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. Hmm. Moving on. What's this? A calendar. Luce's birthday is on the 7th. Might be a good idea to remember that if we want to become friends with Harvey. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Oh, okay. Just to repeat. For sale. Backpack. 24 slots. 2,000 G. We'll need that. Uh, we don't want to buy any more supplies right now. Hey, it's Mr. Gaz, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Now, uh, the mayor said that he was going to stop by and pick that stuff up. I think he's just trying to profit off us. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving out into the old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Okay. Well, we uh, we might want to put a stop to that. Strange girls coming onto our property. Heaven forbid! Wow. Why is there 
There's a very large family shrine back here, the Altar of Yoba. This doesn't seem like it's a very... Well, maybe it is publicly accessible, seeing as how I am the public, but really... To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jojico has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joja builders have already broken ground for the new Joja Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As manager of the new Joja Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. We just start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. Mr. Morris, the manager. You bastard. Hello, you must be Gaz, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Your daughter actually looks older than you. Just saying. I mean, that's not a bad thing, and I'm not trying to hit on you, but... Just an observation. She seems very interested with the fruit. Okay. Oh, wow, lots of people are out. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Okay. Let's commit a federal crime. Oh, they don't have any mail. Nothing in the trash. Uh... Clearly... The map is not, uh, perfect. It's not... Ooh, jeez. Hack down their door. Um, what? Why is there a TV in the middle of the floor? Hello? Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. Okay, crusty old George. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. That's my, uh... <coughs> That's my hurting voice. You can call me Granny if you like. It's a well-stocked refrigerator. How did you spell that? Okay. Alex. That must be you. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? That's cool. I'll see you around. Yeah, okay, Alex. Tires, tires everywhere. Are, are those mouse traps? May as well go in everywhere that I can. Hi! Oh, did you want something? Uh, no, Penny. Actually, I don't. Why? Why does she have. Okay. The only vehicle in town. garbage can. Green algae. It's worth some energy and some health. Okay. And an empty house. It's the mayor's fridge. It's mostly full of milk and iced tea. We found the mayor's house. It's a ledger full of Pelican Town data. You can't really understand it. I imagine we cannot go in there. Okay, so the mayor is off wandering around somewhere. That's actually kind of a cool thing about this game is that uh, it's actually like a living town. People actually move around and go places. On the other hand, it can be very annoying if you're trying to find someone. What the hell is that noise? Archaeology office. There's a book missing, okay. Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. It should be, uh, whatever. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Okay. Do I get a commission for that? Ooh, wait, what? There's a book missing here. Oh, okay. So does that mean we actually have to start finding... Is War with the Gotoro Empire Necessary? A Unique Perspective by P.W. Kranzhauer. 
Calico Desert Flora and Fauna. Huh. And... Many empty rooms. So I imagine there is uh, quite a considerable collection mechanic in the game. Obviously books are one of the things we have to collect. It's getting on towards afternoon. Ah, here we go. Blacksmith! Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay? Yeah, upgrade tools. Copper, 2,000 gold apiece. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. I mean, I, I mean, I, I understand it for game mechanics, but, you know, even my really good friends, I'm not sure I would just let wander into my bedroom. There's a stack of metalworking blueprints. Anything useful to me? Can I make my own? It's a professional-grade furnace. Peering inside, you see molten metal bubbling and churning. Okay. Well, we've explored most of the right side of town. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk, and we'll get along fine. Okay, Pam. Ah, uh, the Joja truck. It's kind of blocked. How the hell does it even get out of there? Wait, wait. Sam. Hi. I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Okay, and that's it. Join us, Thrive. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Okay. Wait, can I? What? There we go. Wallpaper. So I can actually buy this stuff here. Is this cheaper? I can imagine that would be the thing. You know, you can either choose to buy it cheap at Joja Mart. Or you can uh, help out the local economy and buy it. Well, let's find out. Let's actually... No, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to do. Parsnip seeds are 25. Bean starter 75. 100. Okay. Let's go back down. It's actually 5 o'clock right now. Spent all day and didn't even meet everyone. No. Oh. Is he closed already? Damn it. Who are you? Beer. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the, lo the, lo the, the local economy. Did we? Did we talk to you? I guess, because I can't talk to you now. You can only talk so often every day. Who else? I guess we could go to the saloon. Oh, wait, there's two people right here. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Okay, if you, if you say so. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Let's go into the saloon. Hey, stop that. Yuck! Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess they don't like you digging around in there. They're garbage. Hi there, I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. He... hmm. <clears throat> he repeats himself a lot. Beer! Salad, bread, spaghetti, pancakes, recipes. Ah, here we go, so we can make our own food. Damn, this stuff is expensive. I should really focus on just, uh... Ooh! I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, which is here. That's where I work. Yes, I know. I gathered that much. And, uh, this poor SOB just came to <laughs> drown his sorrows after, uh, working at Jojo Mart. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Yeah, that will drain your soul. Pool table. Stop axing everything. 
I guess we'll play a game. Um, okay. Something tells me that this was the first game the developer ever made. And they just crowbarred it into, uh, into this one. Ooh. Ooh, do. Ooh, do, 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 do. Ow. I did that to myself. I boxed myself in. Oh, coins. Well, the hitboxes are a little bit finicky. Ooh, extra life. So what are we even fighting? We're a cowboy shooting orcs? I don't know. Shotgun, if I can actually get it. Okay, if we just... There we go. Gotta make these count. Ooh. Ooh, wait, what's that? No! Now nah, let's just end it here. You're on a time limit, too. I didn't even see that up there. No, not restart. Not restart. Not restart! Oh, good. You can just get out of there. Good. What's that? I don't know, but whatever it is, I can't get it, and the music is dead. Well, we'll just skedaddle, then. Still got stuff to do. Seven o'clock. More houses down here. Sewer entrance. More trash to rifle through. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? No, oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Let's go change. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Having almost 30 people could really change things. Vincent's report card. Vince is a good boy, but he could make do with a little more studying. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not the brightest, brightest bulb. I need to be friends. Move into people's bedrooms. What have they got in the kitchen? Eggs, bread, carrots, and milk. It's a simple list. Okay, we should probably head back. My energy actually is going down very slowly, though. Mostly because I've just been running around, I imagine. Not exerting myself in the fields. That's probably what I'll do starting next episode. This was really more of just a... What the heck was that? More of a time waster episode. Let's cut these down. There we go. So hopefully we'll be able to use all this fiber for something. Actually, wait. What was over here? The community center. It's locked. It doesn't uh, doesn't look very busy either. Well, may as well follow the path. Playground, just a playground. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff. That looks like that way. Oh, the bus stop. I missed out on the stuff up here. Well, it's getting late. Let's just uh, we'll save that for a little bit later. I don't have a heck of a lot to do right now, because I've only got so many plants in the ground. So maybe we'll clear some land, buy some more seeds, get those going, 
and in our off time I can go into town and uh, converse with the townsfolk. Because I, I do think that's going to actually be fairly important. I'm not really sure if there's like a time limit on the game. In the original Harvest Moon had a two-year time limit, but uh, I'm imagining this is pretty open-ended. And it's dark. We need some lights in here. I've got electricity, clearly. Oh, weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Good. Fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Fixing. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Okay. Would I really want to sell my wood, though? I seem to think that's going to be kind of important. But uh, foraging would be a, a good source of uh, early income, I suppose. Go to sleep for the night. Okay, well, I think that'll do it for the first episode. Nothing really happened, but uh, kind of expected. I guess we can look through the rest of the menus here. Um, I do have some skills. I imagine these skills will go up with use. I don't know that there's a, like an experience system in the game. They probably go up as you do things. All the people that we've met... All the people that we haven't. Some very... Sim Wait, no, we totally met her, right? Purple-haired girl? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, well, missed some. The map? Yeah, okay. And... No, 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 no. Damn it. Crafting. So right now I can only craft wooden fences and wooden paths. Oh, it's gravel and cobblestone paths as well, I suppose. Cobblestone would look nice. When I, uh, when I get the farm better laid out, I think I'll start using some of my resources towards the paths. I don't need the fence right now, but uh, we'll make things look nice. Collections! Yes, there are many things to collect. Many, many things to collect. Game options. Okay. Well, uh, as I said, that's it for the first episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.